guys, how's it going? So uh, we are out here today at the wall tent after some extremely heavy rain. Uh, we had flash flooding uh, from yes like yesterday evening last night into uh, this morning. I come out last night to bring three pieces of gear, to bring this chair, to bring the uh, table, and to bring the cot. Uh, and I wanted to come out and I ended up doing it uh, at dark because it just was raining so hard. Um, and I've not had this thing, you know, set up before, so I want to see how it was doing. And this tent is not designed, like canvas tents are not designed to handle this heavy a rain consistently, because, like, right now, it's just, it's really tapered off to just a, a slow pitter-patter. But you can just see by the leaf debris and stuff, it's been knocked off, and it's not fall yet. Like, none of the leaves have started falling, but they just got beat off the trees. Um, and there is, like, some precipitation that got in because some of the seams started to leak because it's, you know, a cotton canvas seal. So it's like at a certain point, the material can only take so much saturation, which is why uh, I have the additional rain fly. My original hope was that I could just kind of see how the canvas handled uh, pretty much rain like we're having at this exact moment. But we did start to get some, uh, some leakage and stuff around the edges, and it's humid as I'll get out in here right now because some of the moisture is... Uh, you know, starting to dissipate and it's, and it's warm. So we'll figure out a vent situation. But like I said, got a cot, got a chair. We should be good to go. I don't think it's going to be raining that hard again. I think it's just going to be doing this type of consistent raining for a bit. So I'd like to, I don't think with the windows, I'm really going to be able to open them up, uh, get that cross breeze. But I will be able to take and open up the front doors uh, because any rain that would kind of come in, that mesh should allow it to run down. And based off the weather that we did have, I'm, I'm impressed with how this held up and I, I think a bird has built a nest upper roof do jig right there or that is just some debris that I've somehow I can't quite get my lens on the other side of that I don't know if y'all see a bird or not but I'm gonna get that out of there and uh because I don't want I don't see any bird crap or nothing down along the bottom in front of it so Seems like most all the water's coming from this direction against that side. So, plus we do have, I, I keep forgetting about that little lip we got right there on the front that'll keep anything. So, having that open should really help keep things off. But yeah, and coming out today was a great chance to uh, test out this uh, giant pack cover for my Tasmanian Tiger external frame backpack uh, I hadn't even put this thing out of the cover but you know I don't really have that much stuff packed in this bag because I was able to bring out some of the larger items last night this pack cover is huge so you can easily I could have like you know my mat on the side like you've seen me carry before uh, and then just this thing. good to go it's also got a patch cover right there but it seems like it done its job even coming through some uh, brambly stuff I don't think I've had a chance to even uh, use this table in a video yet because it's a bit of a larger, like it's more of a car camping slash ATV camping slash base camp size table from Mission Mountain. Because this floor right here had collected some water right there in the center. Uh, it pulled up to where I didn't have that back end attached. I just lifted it up and dumped it out because uh, I mean, there was some water that had flowed underneath because that's how heavy uh, the rain came through.
there we go and that is a very nice base camp size table i just don't know where exactly or how exactly i want to position it but because i'll probably wait and put the cot together closer time just to make sure nothing drips on it i'd like to help prevent that as much as possible and it is definitely time for some nice cool refreshing caffeine way too humid for coffee but opening up the uh, the flaps on the front of this uh, and having that mesh like that helps a ton now that it's a little bit lighter out here and so that's what I've done with the doors. There's a buckle over that. I don't think that's necessarily intended to be used to pull the doors back, but it works great for that purpose. I think that's part of the uh, the awning attachment you can add on to here. But all the guy lines are good. This thing's actually more tight now where this canvas has got wet. Uh, and I tried pushing up on this canvas. It is very, very heavy now. So it's uh, pretty saturated. And I mean, as you can see, all the trees are still 100% green, and all this is just debris and stuff that the rain has beat down. And then I think I already had some clips in, but like right there is all just the debris and sediment stuff that's washed up on those lower skirts. So those have done a really great job of helping control that. These large stakes seem to be holding in the ground, even though it's getting really soft. Well, the rain has been stopped for about an hour and a half now, and it has kind of chilled out a bit. I'm gonna go ahead now. I think so. I got to worry about a lot of uh, a lot more precipitation until really later. I want to get uh, the cot set up. This is that like collapsible lightweight cot that sits at the same normal height as the standard size cot or you can use it as low line cot by leaving some of the legs off of it. And when I say lightweight, I mean it's compared to one this size, it's lightweight, but it's by no means the, uh, the, the lightest weight cot that I have or use. But I didn't like, with this, you know, taking advantage of wall tent and all this, uh, you know, head space and stuff. There's no reason to bring in a small low line cot, plus it's nice, uh, and once we start to get more gear and stuff in here for an extended period of time with like having that undercot storage And there we go. We got our cot all nice and set up. Fits great. I think mean, that's what I'm saying. Like three cots lengthways in here. It's pretty much like the perfect size to take full advantage of uh, the space and all. Probably slide it down just a little bit. At some point, I will figure out how to open this thing up. One of the representatives reached out to me because they saw I was using this in a video, and they sent me their strap, this retention strap that's supposed to help. I'm trying to figure it out. He told me a way to do it. This is not what he said, but I, off the top of my head, I, I don't remember, but after using it a few times, 
There we go. A lot better than previous attempts. A lot better than previous attempts. Now, where this is designed to uh, kind of go on like a GI style car, like I'm really just going to keep it sitting on there because it'll stay just fine. Like, I ain't got to worry about uh, the straps or any of that. Okay, now one really cool new piece of gear that I brought out today, and I'm trying to remember the name of the website that this come from. I believe it is coolgadget.com or coolgadgets.com. I will have it. I'll put it up on the screen because I think a lot of you guys uh, are going to like be into this because this is a really compact but really long set of strain lights. Um, now, I don't want to take and put them up in a fashion to where they might act and end up being like a drip line. So I'm trying to think of how to. Okay, so like right here is where it starts and it's got this little hook and it's like, I think you call these like fairy lights, but they're a lot brighter than you'd think. And I won't be able to really show you all that until it gets dark. I just want to go ahead and uh, try to figure out, you know, how I want to do these. Is a reel and because this stuff is so thin you flip that up and it just kind of reels back in like a fishing line I guess I can go ahead and reach down here because I just stuffed this camo because this one right here I mean all these are like all woobies are typically water resistant but this one right here for whatever reason seems to be a bit more on the water resistant side so. that's the other nice thing about this USMC bed net is the fact that it's got these zippers on both sides beautiful cool deal so yeah i think we're pretty much good until it's uh food time
So, alrighty guys, I do believe it is time to get the hay. That was a very nice meal, although having something hot uh, to eat uh, wasn't very ideal for tonight, I can say that. But I uh, thought so we'd have a nice little, you know, ASMR style cooking session since we've uh, pretty much fixed the same type of, uh, you know, freeze dried meals in the same fashion in the past couple of uh, overnighters. My God, bro, it is, it is humid. I'm putting my headlamp in here. Right there. don't need any type of covering right now so we'll just keep that kicked off to the side make sure we got our pillow and stuff where we need it oh, it does feel good to stretch it back out oh. one thing i will say is that since we've kept that door closed with the screen um that's helped humidity, but there is no flying insects in here. I've not seen a single crawling insect, even though that skirt at the bottom. But anyways, guys, I am going to retire, and I will talk to y'all in the morning. Fingers crossed, hum <laughs> humidity drops a bit. Oh. oh, good morning, guys. It is raining outside. Uh, we had a couple. Uh, we had a couple of little uh, stray showers uh, last night, from what I, you know, noticed um, throughout the night. But it just started kind of like another steady pitter patter of rain. I think that the weather's ninety percent chance of rain. All day today, so we'll get the stuff uh, out and situated. But um, all in all, this is good. Just very humid. I really, I, I, I got to figure out a way that if it's raining and well, well, I mean, we're gonna be in cold weather soon enough, so it's not really, um, not really that important at the moment. But it would have been nice where this uh, USMC bed net position, if you know, we could have had both of the windows open and protected from rain because at the angle I'm at that window right there if it was open with the mesh I probably would have got some splash back this morning but uh didn't have any didn't have any water or anything get there's like just a very there's a couple drops on the uh, bug net and but other than that like completely dry the wood is good you know I really like being up on this cot off the ground utilizing this bug net um, but yeah, the wall tent's doing great, you know, like, so I'll get that rain fly on there and we'll have to worry about any of the uh, uh, moisture getting through the seams or anything. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. As always, really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share the channel with your friends, family, everybody. Enjoy the great outdoor activities. Uh, you can check the links in the description if you're interested in any of the gear, rather it be copying it for yourself, just information about it. If it's available on the internet, I will uh, do my best to put a link there for you. So, like I said, before the humidity gets any worse, if that's even possible, I'm going to get up. I'm leaving, oh, this other thing too, is uh, I'm leaving the cot and the bug net and the chair and the table uh, here for now. Um, because this is like kind of the best use case for it at the moment for everything and then it's here and I got to pack as much stuff in because I'll still I still plan on like hiking to here and uh, you know all that good stuff so till the next one guys adios